What's happening, everybody? It is the pregame walking into the Harkins Cinema in Cerritos, 25 miles from my house. Only theater showing Brahma Yagum, uh, Brahma Yagum, Brahma Yagum. Excuse me, Mamuti. I'm gonna see this film, black and white horror film. It looked incredible all thousands and thousands of you guys uh watching that reaction so listen i made a promise i wanted to check this film out in a movie theater this uh director is amazing as you know we saw um uh buta kalam so that was fantastic uh you know i hear mambuti is uh, one of the greats one of the great actors uh who's been at it at the game and uh it sounds like this is a big hit big hit back in india i am just happy that we uh can make it over here and once i figure out where i'm at I went the wrong way all right i think i gotta go the other way around so all right listen i'm not gonna you're not gonna hang out with me this entire time i just want to say uh i am excited to be intrigued and just viscerally blown away as I was with Bukatalam and even more so because this looks more like a visual stunner uh, whereas uh, Bukatalam really well look it I, this guy th this director knows how to make cinema so I'm, I'm all in for it I'm walking in the theater right now. I will be back with you at the end of the movie. Polly walking out of the theater late night. It is uh, heading towards midnight here in Los Angeles, California. And um, I just witnessed a very unconventional throwback horror film. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna do another video where we're gonna get into the analysis of the film. So what I wanna do here is I wanna react to what I saw. This is a gorgeous black and white horror film. Unlike oh, any horror you might have seen, uh, American standards, you know, uh, and yet it's very A24, something that you can see them producing. Uh, this writer-director, Sebastian, is a freaking master, man. This guy, this guy really is commenting. All right, Brahma Yugam is the age of madness. And... It is really where our humanity is at and how us as men have for, since the dawn of time, dawn of our time, have created these divisions of caste and uh, lower people, mid people, higher people, and just wreaked horror upon them. And yet it's told in a very monster, goblin, succubus, ancient, you know, evil characters fashion. So it's as if uh, Frankenstein represented, uh, you know, the, uh, well, it does. I mean, you know, Frankenstein itself was a, you know, a, a social commentary. So, you know, of sorts. So yeah, man, this was just so, so, so different and impressive. Uh, it was a, a joy. It was a joy to watch on the big screen. I'm so glad I got to watch it on the big screen. I, I, uh, I marvel at how unique this uh, this film really is. Now, the actor Mamuti. I have never seen any of his films before, and so what the little I've read is that this guy is like the uh, you know. The, uh, the Brando of sorts, you know, the, the man 
from this uh, film industry, he was vicious. He was enticing. He was devilish. He was charismatic. He was, uh, 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 you know, uh, funny and uh, creepy at the same time. What a great character, man. I mean, that that is a fantastic character where you think he is the uh the lord of a uh very decaying palace that uh this this uh slave who ran away from being a a singer he's like a, this innocent bumpkin who runs into a palace and basically it's a cursed place and he's tricked into staying there for the rest of his existence i mean it is absolutely stunning stunning just 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 what i said in this in this how uh, the the palace contorts and becomes uh, a a, uh, a a cavern of just different uh challenges that that two characters have to go through to try to uh try to subdue the goblin yeah this is uh this this is a uh, this is incredible man this is this is again i say it it's just so darn different i i don't really know also to the what some of those characters mean this is set in the 1700s and it it, it does note that there is a new a new uh oppressor coming by way of an a foreign one which i think was very interesting because since the dawn of time in Kerala, there has been oppressors on each other and that have been horrific. So uh, war after war, yeah, the age of madness. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, kind of, I'm speechless. I, I'm so, so happy I got to see this on the big screen. I cannot wait to dig into it more. I found some great articles that I want to share with you and I think we're going to do a... Uh, a different video as well because that's my impression you know it, it, it it's 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 nolan it's eggers it's uh it's it's even it's even when Shyamalan is on point a little Shyamalan. It, it's it's all these great auteurs that really know how to uh tell a different tell a message in a completely cinematically different sort of way and uh yeah uh sebastian and my hats off to you great great score great actors i mean great actors we're gonna deep more we're gonna dig deep more guys we're gonna do it we're gonna do a uh a full spoiler and a film analysis on this black and white uh horror soon to be cult classic uh my hats off to all involved to mamuti whoa what an incredible, what a joy to watch that, that gentleman just do his thing. And, um, you know, what a complex character that's just not your own of the mill monster. No, no, no. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Here at the Latino Slam, we have a huge Indian cinema playlist. It's there. We'll connect it right there. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment. Thank you for watching. That is Rama Yugam, Age of Madness by Sebastian. We did it. We saw it.